I've been thinking about communities recently, um, mostly because here at home, I wouldn't say I have much of a community. My wife and I moved here a year ago now, and I don't, I can't really say I have any friends here in town. Don't get me wrong, I'm friendly with my neighbors, and I get their names right 70% of the time, but I haven't really set out the time to try to find a community here in the new place that I live. Most of my community tends to be, well, if it's not work-related, it's my old friends from up in Kitchener and Waterloo, and so... It's hard to say that I have a community when the place that I live in just functions more like a hotel space. Yes, all of my personal belongings are here, but there's nothing about it that, other than it being my home, there's nothing about it that says, like, this is my community. I'm told that it's important. It's a, it's a value that has been instilled in me, that it's important to, to be mindful of your community. In fact, that was one of my criticisms at our old house, is that we lived in an area heavily populated by students, and so every four months, all of the garbages were full as students were moving out and discarding anything that wasn't going with them. And so the community always felt in flux, and it always felt like it was temporary, and... While that, it was a great community to be a part of, it was certainly one that was transient. And uh, we moved hoping to find a little bit more of a permanent space. And yet, one year on, we still haven't established ourselves for as much as we were hoping and craving to, to come to a new place and reestablish ourselves. We haven't really done that. And this is interesting because I had another thought on this topic recently that it's really true. It's hard to find and make friends when you're an adult, when you're no longer stuck with the same people for five to eight hours a day. That's not just your coworkers. It's really difficult to, to meet people and find commonality. Everything has a veneer of superficiality. And I long for the days when it was so easy to make friends because the things that brought us together were just the starting point of learning who we are and who we were in relation to each other. Often as an adult, you have to make time and go out of your way just to try to make friends. I recently checked out an online book group. I participated in the first session. I don't know if I'll have time to continue on. That's the curse of being an adult, but it was an opportunity to, to read a piece of, of literature and have that as the, the point that brings us together to discuss things and, and share ideas. And that was an interesting way of trying to establish community. And ultimately, the lessons that I learned from that are that as an adult, it's important that you be mindful of the spaces that you create and the opportunities that you have to bring people together in order to foster and share and create community around each other. As a child, those opportunities are almost foist upon us. But as an adult, it's almost like we have to intentionally plan to be spontaneous in that way. However, until I find that sense of community that I long for, I suppose the most important thing to remember is to stay awesome.